where do you sit within yourself with that when it comes to self acceptance and knowing and hopefully to believe that you know that you do not have to have validation outside of yourself. It is all about your inner acceptance and understanding. I was very fortunate to where I never felt abandoned and I never felt lost of who I was or my, my culture or where my heritage comes from because my father, he went the extra nine yards to get every document he could for me from the country I was born in to every police record, to everything that he could find so I could know who I was at a very young age, where I came from, but that it didn't define me if something happened to have been less fortunate. He let me learn about all of the different roots of culture and even where he came from and where my adoptive mom uh, came from. And I got to learn of all these cultures and all these different things. So luckily, I never felt the abandonment issues of being a foster child and an adoptive child. But I know people around me who were foster children and I could see in their eyes and in their hearts and in their stories that they felt that way because they were, again, not as lucky Mm -hmm. as I was to have a father who cared so much to find all of this information and teach me beyond that so that I never lost my sense of self. I'm extremely happy to hear that because... (laughs) You, to talk about debilitating or being a crippled mm-hmm. um, or what is crippling when people make those references, living with that emotional state of being is crippling. It is um, having a disability. Um, it, you're just I'm, – I'm just absolutely, absolutely happy to hear – You did not go through that, not because of the situation you're in. No one deserves to have to go through that. It is a prison. It is a war. Not a. It is literally a war within yourself. No human being should ever, especially a child, have to go through. Oh, I agree. Ooh, I'm just taking a breath. Just um, I just sat with that with you for a moment. Um, (laughs) thank you. 